Out of the fatal film set shooting involving Alec Baldwin. A New Mexico prosecutor is set to announce this morning whether Baldwin or anyone else will face charges in the death of Helena Hutchins, the Russ cinematographer. Lindsay Davis is on the scene in Santa Fe, New Mexico. Good morning, Lindsay. Hey, good morning to you, George. Was it an accident, a crime, or both? Today, we may begin to get some semblance of an answer. Early on, you may remember when the district attorney said at the time when no criminal charges had been filed that everything was on the table, that no one had been ruled out, including Alec Baldwin. This morning, potential charges in the deadly shooting on the set of the movie Rust involving actor Alec Baldwin. After a nearly 14-month criminal investigation, the Santa Fe, New Mexico District Attorney will announce who, if anyone, should be prosecuted for the death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins. There's no evidence that this was intentional. This was clearly an accident, but perhaps a criminal accident. A spokesperson tells ABC News, regardless of the district attorney's decision, the announcement will be a solemn occasion, made in a manner keeping with the office's commitment to upholding the integrity of the judicial process and respecting the victim's family. The tragic events unfolded at the Bonanza Creek Ranch on October 21st of 2021 during rehearsal for the low-budget Western. Baldwin was using a gun which fired off a live bullet, killing Hutchins and wounding director Joe Souza. We need some help us. Director and our camera woman has been shot. In a December 2021 interview with George Stephanopoulos, Baldwin said he was told the gun had blanks. Someone put a live bullet in a gun, a bullet that wasn't even supposed to be on the property. And asserted that he did not pull the trigger. It wasn't in the script for the trigger to be pulled. Well, the trigger wasn't pulled. I didn't pull the trigger. So you never pulled the trigger? No, 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 no. I, I would never point a gun at anyone and pull a trigger at them, never. But the FBI released a report last August concluding the gun used on set when fully cocked could not have fired without pulling the trigger while the working internal components were intact and functional. Baldwin's lawyer at the time said the FBI's findings were misconstrued and that the gun was in poor condition. Last November, Baldwin filed a lawsuit against several key crew members, including the film's armorer, Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, for giving him the loaded gun and failing to check the bullets or the gun carefully. A lawyer for Gutierrez Reed fired back in a statement saying Baldwin is solely responsible for the harm that happened. He rejected training and pointed the gun and pulled the trigger without the armorer being present. The movie Rust is set to restart filming at another location in the spring with Helena Hutchins' husband named as a producer. George. Okay, Lindsay, thanks. Let's bring in our chief legal analyst, Dan Abrams. And Dan, you think charges could be coming even for Baldwin? I, I, I do. I, I think at this point they may even be likely. Look, six months ago, if you'd asked me, do you think Alec Baldwin's going to get charged? My answer would have been no. But now we've heard from the DA herself. When she was asking for more money to continue the investigation, she said the following. It's become apparent we'll be potentially charging between one and four people with criminal charges. And with that, each of those charges will probably include some variation of our homicide statute. That is from the DA herself. So if you take that at its face, you would think going into today that it is likely that Alec Baldwin or others will be charged with some variation homicide? of the homicide, and that would likely be involuntary manslaughter. And what does that mean? So in the state of um, New Mexico, it is a fourth degree felony, meaning it's lower. It could be negligent conduct. It wouldn't even have to be reckless. Up to 18 months in prison as a potential sentence, but it's the kind of crime where people can serve no time. It's much lesser than in other states. But still, again, I'm not minimizing the idea of Alec Baldwin or others potentially being charged with the crime of involuntary manslaughter. The mystery has been how that live round got into the gun in the first place. Do you think we're going to find out? Um, we may in, in the connection with the criminal charges, uh, but I think that one of the most important things that happened was your interview with him. I think that it was devastating for him that he said he never pulled the trigger, and then an FBI report indicated that that uh, is very unlikely. We'll be watching today. Dan Abrams, thanks. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.